guys, this is question seven, general. This is the last question of the practical paper for 2018, and it's a total of 18 marks. Uh, 7.1 says open the seven label word processing document, which I've done, and it's a blank page. Create a mail merge document to create labels for the athletes with the following specifications. So first thing we need to do is go to mailings, and here start mail merge step by step. Labels. Next. All right. So now it says that we need to use the tower label vendor with the product number tower W108 mailing label. So over here we go to label options. Under here, label vendor, make sure it says tower. And then in this list at the bottom, product number, we need to go to tower. W108 mailing labels. Okay, and there it sets the document up with the labels. Now it says display only the athletes that won gold medals, and the data source we need to use is the seven data. So over here we're going to say select recipients and browse. My recipients are saved in the data file seven data and we say open but there is only one sheet in this worksheet so we're going to just click on ok and now it wants us to only send out labels for those that want gold or create labels at least for those that want gold so under medals you'll see it says silver bronze gold so we need to filter and filter the field according to medal equal to, and over here we're going to type in gold, okay, alright, and you can see the medals have all been set to gold, okay, so what we're going to do now is close this, and we're going to start to arrange labels, so here at arrange the labels, we're going to look at the example, and the example has the name first, so here I'm going to say insert, name, see it puts in the first label, then I click enter, then it wants date of birth, so I go here insert merge field, date of birth, enter, and the last one it says men's 100 meters, so that is the event, so I say event. Now that I got all that there, you'll see over here, they update all labels, and it puts the fields on all the labels. Now we can preview the labels, we can see what they'll look like. And then after that, we can say complete the merge. All right, so by complete the merge, we're going to say edit individual labels. Over here, we say OK. And these are all the labels that we are going to be printing. But the question says we need to save this as seven labels merged. So we come here to the save button. It opens up the save as. And here we're going to say seven. labels merged and we're saving it into that exam folder all right so once you save that we can close the seven labels they also want us to save so click on save and then close and we're done with 7.1 now we're looking at 7.2 and it asks us to open the seven bonus. So here it's an Excel spreadsheet. Double click. Okay. And we get that an athlete's net worth is determined by the following. The amount obtained for his or her position in column B. So in column B, the position they got will give them an amount. And then it says in the bonus worksheet to determine the amount. So if you look here, if they came in position one, they got 50,000 Rand, position 2, they got 25,000 Rand, position 3, they got 15,000 Rand. This is running at a vertical, so this will be a vertical lookup, a V lookup. Okay, and then over here they say in column C, the bonus will say yes and no. So over here in this bonus sheet, you will say yes and no is running horizontally. 
And so if it says no, they're going to add zero to the value. If it says yes, they'll add 10,000 to the value. All right. So what we're going to do is start off by selecting the cell and saying equals. Now we're going to look at the position. And if you remember, that was a vertical lookup. So equals B lookup. Open up my bracket. And the lookup value I'm going to be looking for is this one. Semicolon on my computer. Remember, your computer could just be a comma. And then the table array is in bonus. I'm then going to select my table and push on F4. So I absolute that range. So when I copy the formula down, it doesn't change this range. Then I'm going to put my semicolon. And now it's saying column index number. So I want the value that is in column three. So that's one, two, three. So I'm going to type a three there. And then I'm looking for an exact match. Double click and I can close the bracket. If I push enter, you will see it pulls up the 15,000 rand position 3, over here you'll see position 3, 15,000 rand. But I'm not done. I still need to see whether this person gets a bonus or not. So inside here, I'm going to say plus. The question says added to the amount if she gets, he or she gets qualified for a bonus. I say plus. And now we're going to look at doing an H lookup. H lookup. The value is the no, the table array is in bonuses. See, the reason I do age lookup is because we're looking horizontally now. So I select the range, push F4 to make sure that that range does not change when I copy the formula down. The row index, I'm looking not for row 1, for row 2. I want the value in row 2 to come up, so there I say 2. And the last thing, I'm looking for an exact match close my brackets and push enter. So you see the answer stays the same because this person did not qualify for a bonus. And remember, if they do not qualify, you add zero to their amount. So they got a third position, which is 15,000, plus zero stays 50,000. As we copy this down, you'll see it calculates it for everyone. And over here, this person came in third position. Remember, that's 15,000. They did qualify for a bonus. The bonus is 10,000. So it added the two together and gave the person 25,000 rand. All right, guys, so that is done. You can save and then close, and you have completed the paper. Well done.